Republicans, welcome back to Student News. Today is September 12th, 2017. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm here to talk about the clubs. Robotics and Jump Start both meet today. Also, today after school, all students who received a Spell Bowl acceptance letter and want to participate in the final Spell Bowl test to see if they made the team should meet in Miss Floyd's classroom, B211, at 4.30 for the elimination test. Girl, you're falling. You didn't stop. <laughs> to the Falcons Athletic Channel. Today, tennis will be taking a swing. Eddie Swift from 5 to 8. Volleyball will be getting an ace against Lindhurst from 5.15 to 6.15 away. Thank you, Falcon. Uh, let's prove that North is the best. Hi, I'm Ella Self, and today I will be interviewing Mr. Self about soccer. Okay, so, have you ever played soccer in your life? Yes. How old were you when you started playing soccer? As soon as I could move. Okay. What is your thoughts on Northview's soccer teams? Uh, they're doing really well. They've got, they have some good players this year. And I actually think they've improved a lot since last year. And congratulations to the girls' soccer team for winning last night. Also, what's your favorite soccer team? Funnily enough, it's West Ham United! <laughs> you see? Yeah. Okay, also, what's your least favorite soccer team? Because we're going to cause controversy. Well, I don't like Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, Manchester United, Liverpool, Manchester City, uh, but I especially hate Millwall. And last, but certainly not least, where did you get your nice and fly flip-flops? These are my rainbow flip-flops. We've been a flavor by now, but I get them from the flip-flop shop. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching the Sports Net Network. Peace. Stay classy, Falcons. Yeah. Isabel Tompkins. Student Ambassadors, listen up. We will be working on a special project next Wednesday, September 13th at 8.30 a.m. Please plan on joining Ms. Dodson in the Student Support Service Office. For all of you who are interested in being a part of the Student Ambassadors, stay tuned. Applications will be coming out next week. Any questions, see Ms. Dodson. Mexico contains the largest population of the Spanish speakers with 144 million, followed by the United States with 50 million. Hi, I'm Reed Goldsmith and I'm here with information on Spillable. Today after school, all students who received a Spillable acceptance letter and want to participate in the final Spillable test to see if they made the team should meet in Ms. Floyd's classroom B211 at 4.30 for the elimination test. Good luck! Hello Falcons, this is Cheyenne here with a friendly reminder to recycle. Still have math homework from last year? Recycle. 
got a sketchbook you did during lunch, recycle. And if you're a teacher, make sure there's a recycling bin available in your classroom. Thank you for keeping Northview and our world beautiful. Now, I've seen some jacked up lockers in my day, but come on, 386, come on, man. Diaria. Kiaria. Kiaria. <laughs> That's what I said. Congratulations. You are the newest winner of the Twitter and Instagram follower giveaway. You get five cotton balls. <gasps> oh, thank Whoa. you so much. I know, I know. I gave you five, not just one. Thank five. You. Keep following. Thank you. If you would like to win some of these awesome prizes. Recess is for one hour after school on Friday. Recess costs 20 Falcon bucks due to your advisory teacher by Wednesday. Some of our activities will include ultimate frisbee, soccer, and kickball. Sixth grade will be on the soccer field, seventh grade will be on the football field, and eighth grade will be on the baseball field. You can use your phones and concessions will be available. Don't feel like going outside? Purchase computer time indoors. Those who do not participate oh. will be in a mandatory study hall doing homework or on IXL. Falcons, this is Eli reporting. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Northview Spirit Wear. We will be selling these jerseys, glitter jerseys and non-glitter jerseys, for $40. You can pick them up from Ms. Christoffel's room. Forms are due by September 15th. Lucy. Lucy. Right, right. Hi, this is Lucy Wynn in her one, two, three extras. I'm here to tell you about the Washington, D.C. information meeting. Can we say something too? Hmm, let's put that in the idea box. Anyway, the meeting's for all eighth graders who are already registered for the trip. It's on Wednesday, September. Back to me now. It's on Wednesday, September 13th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Yeah. Goodbye! <laughs> Question is, when a cyclops closes its eye, is it blinking or winking? The thing is, a cyclops only has one eye, and the definition of blinking is closing both of your eyes for a split second, and winking is closing one of your eyes for a split second. So, what do you think? When a cyclops closes its eye, is it blinking or winking? I'm Samantha Camray. And I'm Lizzie Mays. And thank you for watching Student News.